What's up, everybody? Well, I've got a little bit of a different video for you guys today. I got a comment asking me to do this, and it's supposedly supposed to get you 15 to 20 percent more FPS in games and keep your CPU cooler and whatnot. And we're just going to try it out real quick. First thing you're going to want to do is pop over to your registry editor. And then I have already, where did it go? There it is. I've already copied the string you need and I'll leave it in the, dang it, I'll leave it in the description. But all you gotta do is control A, control C, control A, control V, and then hit enter. And it'll take you right to where you need to be for this to work. You're gonna double click on attributes now this is this attribute over here we're just gonna zoom in real okay this should be a it is probably gonna be either a zero or a one change it to a two like I have it here hit okay and now you're done with this step all right now you can just close this we're done with that now and then what you're gonna want to do is just type in edit power and it'll probably pop up with edit power plan now make sure you are on the uh, plan you want. And if you want to do that, you just have to go to your armory crate. And make sure you're on turbo or hit your button up on top of the uh, keypad up there until you hit turbo. That make, that'll make sure it's on the proper settings. Now you're going to hit advanced settings. You're going to have this tab now. This tab wasn't here before. We did that little registry trick. Now you're going to hit that. And I've already done this, but this will probably be on aggressive on that one and aggressive on this one. And just change them both to disabled. Hit OK. You can close all of that and you're done. Now let's get into a war zone real quick and see how our FPS did and then we'll compare it on and off because the cool thing about this is if it gets you less FPS we can always just turn it back to the way it was with two clicks of the mouse so let's get into it all righty starting off in about the same spot as the last video trying to anyway now I'm not gonna lie I feel like we've lost performance but I kind of thought we would, at least in this game, because this is a pretty CPU-intensive game. Alright, I hear somebody shooting me. Where are you? Uh, anyway. Yeah, I don't see where these people are shooting me from. I can't see my damn map. Out of my way, you. But yeah, now that's not to say that this won't work for other games, but at least in this one, I definitely feel like we've lost some performance. But we will see when I... Uh, turn it back to normal turbo mode, and we'll see what the FPS is. And I'm going to try and do a side-by-side -side comparison. Let's get some armor plate on here. But yeah, I swear I was getting like 160 or something around here before. But this is way quieter and it's getting way better temps. And it's using way less volts, so this would be sound that seems like it'd be the perfect thing to do to silent mode if you just wanted like an ultra battery mode. But I'll definitely go further in depth with this with more ga with more games later to see if this helps out in any game. I'm sure it does because I've seen videos where it did. So I figured it would in this one, but it did not. And someone wanted to see how it performed in this game by doing that. So that's what I'm doing. 
I'm playing on my knees because the cat stole my chair, but she's sleeping very cute. So I don't feel like waking her up and moving her. I'm pretty much the nicest cat owner ever. Most people would just kick the animal out of their chair. I'd be like, nope, this is human's chair. Get the hell out. Man, you guys are persistent. All right, now let's turn this off and, uh, whoop, I hear somebody. Ah. All right, anyway, let's move on and turn this mode back off and get turbo mode back off and let's see how our FPS does. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I already can tell uh, in this particular game anyway. We definitely get more FPS with turbo mode on, but that's not necessarily true for every game. This does not mean that it's like the whole thing's a fail or anything like that. It's just this particular game seems to like turbo. And plus, I noticed that the video I watched was about Ryzen... Uh, 3,000 and 4,000 laptop chips, not the 5,000. So this one probably just depends a lot more on its turbo boost. However, it still definitely gets you way less, or way lower temps, uh, making your computer run way less loudly as well. And it's not like we lost infinite FPS, we dropped probably like 20 FPS. I think we were averaging about 150 or something. Now we're averaging 180. Gunfire everywhere. Yeah, getting about 170, 180 FPS right now. There we go, cool. Finally, I was hoping I could find a rifle to replace my pistol with. Oh, there's somebody. Oh, this guy didn't even care about his computer buddy there. He's just like, F you, I'm gonna go right for you. <laughs> Let's armor up. Oh shit, where'd you come from? But yeah, For these for this particular game, I think we've got our answer. Turbo mode is wind sauce. Alrighty, I wanted to get a little bit of uh, side by side. Uh, on the left, we've got the uh, turbo mode off, and on the right, we have turbo mode on. And as you can plainly see, at least in Warzone, you get way more performance with turbo mode on with Ryzen processors. At least in this game. I can't speak for every single game out there, but so far in this game, that's how it is. Um, 
hopefully I can get some more games done here soon because I want to go more in depth with this. So, I'd say this is probably good enough. I do not think we need to go any further. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Until the next one, peace out, guys.